want y'all to sit right over here for just a moment. I don't never do nothing the exact same way I do it every time. If I did, it would just be organized religion. It wouldn't be nothing of God. Just like that. I know you didn't like him when you married him, but sit over here next to him. That's all right. We'll take care of that here in just a minute too. I want to talk to y'all for just a moment. Do you understand what you're doing? Eli was the high priest. And when he caught Hannah praying, and then, oh, I love this baby. She's the happiest child in the world. However, I ain't never seen her when she wasn't smiling and laughing. The... Um, he began to understand what she wanted and him being the prophet of God spoke to her and she conceived it wouldn't have mattered now I blow people away with this it wouldn't have mattered had she ever went back and known her husband cause the prophet prophesied that she would have a child it had to come forth. When the word of God goes out, it must produce life. Now, what you're doing as young parents is that you're taking now your children because the Lord has given them to you and it's not the only ones you're going to have. The Lord's taking these, you're taking and giving these children back to God. Okay? That God would be, is the word prevalent right? That he would be prevalent in their lives always. She can come up here, it's all right with me. She would be prevalent always, or he would be prevalent always in their lives. Because chances are, y'all won't be. Somewhere down the road, as much as you love her and as much as you're working for her, she's going to think that you disappointed her. You ever been mad at your mama? You ever been mad at your parents? Sure. You think they done you wrong? You think that they didn't do right? That's it. But the Lord will never disappoint them. The Lord will never let them down. The Lord will never take his guard off of them once you do this and this is why you're doing it but if you don't raise these children right and something happens to them it's held at your hands you understand me you're, this is very serious that you're doing and you know the way I am church because they came here to this church and they came here before you. If you don't make it prevalent in your life to make sure that these children are raised up right, they're held accountable in your hands. Huh? So all you men that catch Michael laying out of church from now on, you better be on the phone and say, why ain't you in church? All you ladies need to find out Nicole's number and begin to talk to her and say, why are you missing? You, you, you chose for us to be a family to come together and we're concerned about one another. Huh? I've done things for this boy right here in his life that he'll never know about. That's the same way you need to be about his children. You need to love them. It doesn't matter if they are naturally yours or not. You need to love them just like they are yours because we are our brother's keeper. Now, you understand that? You understand what we're doing now? All right, you ready? Grandparents, y'all can come on up. You want to stand up here with me? 
Yes, sir. You the elder. All right, y'all come up here. Because sometimes 